Hello class, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will teach you how to find the derivatives of a composite function using the chain rule. So if f and g are both differentiable and f of x is the composite function defined by f of x is equal to f of g of x. So dito guys, we have two functions. So yung f, yan yung ating outer function. Then, yung g of x, yan naman yung ating inner function. Okay? Then, f is differentiable. So, meaning pwedeng makuha yung derivatives. So, ang formula natin para makuha yung derivative ng ating composite function is equals to the, the derivatives of ng ating outer function times the derivative ng ating inner function. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. So, let's have example number 1. So, y equals x cubed plus 4, then raised to 5. So, obviously, yung example number 1 natin is a composite function where f of x is equals to x raised to 5. Then, ang ating g of x or yung ating inner function is equals to x cubed plus 4. Okay? So, paano ba nakuha yung ating, paano ba naging composite function yung ating given? So, getting the f of g of x, ang gagawin lang natin, substitute natin yung g of x dun sa variable kay f of x. So, ang composite function natin, magiging x cubed plus 4 raised to 5. So, ito yung ating given. Okay? So, since... Yung number 1 is a composite function. So, para makuha natin yung derivatives na yan, i-apply natin yung formula sa taas. Ito. Okay? So, try natin. So, getting the derivative of y, we have y prime equals. So, ang first move daw natin, differentiate the outer function. So, para makuha natin yung derivatives ng ating outer function, ang gag gagamitin lang natin dyan is yung power formula. Kung tandaan nyo pa. Imu kung saan, imumultiply natin yung 5 dun sa may coefficient ng parang ating function. So, that is 5 times dun. We have, so since unknown yung number, that is understood na 1. So, 5 times 1, we have 5. Then, ikakopy lang natin yung g of x. ba diba? So, that is x cubed plus 4. Then, yung 5 nating exponent, magma-minus tayo ng 1. Okay? So, yan yung ating power formula. Then, after natin makuha yung, deri yung derivative ng ating outer function, sabi din sa formula, multiply daw natin sa derivatives ng ating inner function. So, dito, ang inner function natin is yung x cubed plus 4. So, para makuha yung derivative nyan, i-apply lang din natin yung power formula. So, x cubed, ang derivative ni x cubed, we have 3x squared plus 4, derivative ng 4, since 4 is constant, so that is 0. Okay, so ang derivative ng ating inner function ay 3x squared. Then, simplify na natin, so we have y prime equals 5 times 3, that is 15x squared, times x cubed plus 4, then 5 minus 1, we have 4. So, this will be our final answer. Nako guys. So, let's move on to example number 2. Y equals the quantity of 3x squared plus 2x minus 5 raised to 4. So obviously, yung example number 2 natin is a composite function wherein yung ating outer function is naka raised to 4. Then, ang ating inner function is yung 3x, cubed, 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. So applying the chain rule, so the derivative of Y is equals to, so una, Kunin muna natin yung derivative ng ating outer function using the power formula. So, multiply natin yung 4 dun. So, that is 4 times, copy lang natin yung g of x or yung ating inner function, 2x minus 5.
Then, dun sa ating exponent, magma-minus tayo ng 1. Okay? Next, idudugtong natin yung derivative ng ating inner function. So, we have 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. So, derivative ng 3x squared, we have 6x. Then, derivative ng ating 2x, that is 2. Then, derivative ng negative 5, which is constant, that is 0. Okay? Then, simplify natin yung ating function, that is y prime equals, so yung 4, multiply natin dito sa binomial sa likod. So, 4 times 6, 6x, that is 24x. Then, 4 times 2, we have 8. Then, 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. Then, 4 minus 1, that's cubed. So, this will be our final answer. Okay? So, ganyan lang kasimple yung chain rule, guys. So, another example, number 3. We have y equals the square root of 2x raised to 4 minus 5x. So, dito yung ating outer function is yung square root. Then, ang ating inner function is yung 2x raised to 4 minus 5x. So, ang first move natin dito is i-rewrite natin yung ating um, radicals to exponential. So, magiging y equals 2x raised to 4 minus 5x. Alam naman natin yung square root is the same lang as raised to 1 half. Okay? Then, applying the chain rule. So, y prime equals yung 1 half, multiply natin doon. We have 1 half times, copy, 2x raised to 4 minus 5x. Then, yung ating exponent, magma-minus tayo ng 1 since nag-power formula tayo. Then, chain. Idudugtong natin yung derivative ng inner function. So, ang derivative ni 2x raised to 4 is 8x cubed. Then, derivative ng negative 5x is negative 5. Okay? Then, simplify natin. So, that is, multiply natin yung 1 dun sa binomial. So, we have 8x cubed minus 5 times 2x raised to 4 minus 5x. Then, 1 half minus 1, that's negative 1 half, all over 2. So, since meron pa tayong negative exponent, so para, mag, para masimplify natin yan, is i-move natin yung 2x raised to 4 minus 5x to denominator para yung kanilang negative, negative exponent is maging positive. So, ang final answer natin is 8x cubed minus 5, all over 2 times 2x raised to 4 minus 5x raised to 1 half. So, this will be our final answer. Okay? Example number 4. y equals 4x raised to 7 minus 3x raised to 4 plus 1 raised to 2 thirds. So, again, ang first move natin, Multiply natin yung exponent dun sa ating function. Then we have 4x raised to 7 minus 3x raised to 4 plus 1. Then dun sa exponent natin, magma-minus tayo ng 1. Okay? Then chain. So kaya siya tinawag na chain rule kasi parang nagdudugtungan, di ba? So chain natin yung derivative ng ating inner function. So, ang derivative ni 4x raised to 7, we have 4 times 7, that is 28. Then, we have 7 minus 1, that is 6. Then, derivative ni 3x raised to 4, that is negative 12x cubed. Then, derivative no 1, since 1 is constant, that is 0. Okay? Then, simplify. We have y prime equals, then yung 2, multiply natin dun sa binomial. So, that is 56x raised to 6 minus 24x cubed. Okay? Then, times 
4x raised to 7 minus 3x raised to 4 plus 1. Then 2 thirds minus 1, that is negative 1 thirds over 3. Okay, so next we have y prime. 